Hi, this is Maria. I'm going to show you my next week setup. I'm going to go ahead and start in Procreate and bring up my photos on the side so I can drag them over. I'm going to bring over my already saved journal page. Open a new layer. I'm going to grab a sticker sheet from Jenny Gollan Designs, one of her new ones. I like the pretties on this one, so we're gonna drag it over. I'm going to just slide that off and resize this so that I can see the uh, entire image. When I click my selector tool, it brings up tools at the bottom, so I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller and make it fit inside the dimensions of the journal. That's why I bring in that journal page. Now I'm going to put one finger on the color selector tool on the far left, that little square in the middle. Put one finger there and touch another finger on your screen and I'm looking for that purple at the top. Uh, my color spot changed to purple and I'm just going to add that new color into my color palette so I can find it easier. Okay, so now I'm going to find a pretty background brush from Jenny Gollins. Um, I have a lot of her brushes, so this is one of her background brushes. And I'm just, just going to size. And then I'm actually going to delete that since I've already got the color I wanted. And I'm going to, in a new layer, just cover that with that background brush. Just don't pick up your pen when you're doing this and you will get one continuous pattern. Okay, then I'm going to use my arrow tool just to make that layer fit inside of my journal page. And lower the opacity so it's not quite so overpowering. I want it to be a background. Get it to where you want it and then move on. grab the stickers again from my photo album and I'm looking for a weekly spread. Drag it over. Close out the pictures and size this one. Use my arrow tool to size it properly inside my journal page. I'm going to put that below my background stamp there. I'm going to go back up, add a new layer, and grab that sticker sheet that I deleted earlier. I should have just kept it along. We're going to bring it back, drag it over, close out the sticker sheet. I'm going to go to my layers and turn off everything that I don't need so that I can concentrate on this one. I'm going to use my selector tool and just freehand out this pretty sticker on the side. Uh, get as close to as you can to the pretty so that you just get the sticker as little of the lines as possible. Touch the screen with three fingers down to copy and paste. That puts it into its own layer. There it is. Go back to the original sticker sheet. Again, select our tool. And I'm freehanding out this little flowers. Three fingers down, copy and paste. Those went into their own layer. Now I can, don't delete, I'm just going to uncheck that layer and go back to here. I'm going to just use the arrow tool to make this little guy really big just so I can see it better. And I'm going to use the selector tool and crop out as much of that extra lines as possible just to make it a cleaner image. Just freehand it out. Since I'm taking it out of a bigger sheet, I'm trying to just have it as sticker-like as possible. It'll still be a little bit here and there. Three fingers down, copy and paste, and that puts it into its own layer. I'll delete it the original. 
and let's make that one back to the original size, what it should be. I skewed it a bit when I when I moved it, so we're gonna turn on the original layer, so and go back to the cutout layer, so that I can just I'm gonna place it over top just to get the sizing back to where it should be without having to recrop this thing. Once I get it to match up, I'll go back and uh, turn off that big sticker layer. Now I'll go back and turn on the other layers so I see where I'm working with and I'm going to start placing these pretties where I want them now that they're cut out. I'm going to use the arrow tool and flip completely and just put it into place where I want it on here on the left. I'm going to click off the arrow tool and resize this a little bit so I can see the bottom. Those tools at the bottom hide the bottom of my screen. Now I'm taking the other layer and moving that pretty over to the side. Now I want to color match one of those flowers, so let's make that a little bigger. Touch that color matcher square, find that purple, and add it into my color palette. And now I can add a new layer, pick a pretty writing brush, and write in my numbers. Okay, so now I'm going to use that color chooser again to find that green in one of the leaves. I'm going to add that to my color palette. So I click the circle at the top right and then clicked the little square to add it into my palette. Actually, I'm going to select that palette as my default so that I can have it on this screen. It's just easier to find. Okay, and I'm going to select a pretty brush. This is another one from Jenny. And it kind of matches the other items in her, in the sticker pack. So I'm just making that the right size and I'm simply going to select my green color. It's already selected. I'm just gonna tap on the screen. I'm following a line here just to make a straight edge. Use my arrow tool and rotate. Place it where I want it. I'm going to actually get an eraser and erase. It's easier to just copy and paste, slide and duplicate. Um, rather than try to draw all the way across, I find this easier. Drop it into place. Now I'm going to move that pretty a little bit over. Just trying to find a good home for that. And now we can get this situated a little better. Okay. Now I'm going to go into layers, merge those two together, slide and duplicate. So I have all of that as one layer at the top. I'm going to rotate it upside down, place it where I want it. I'm gonna flip it as well, and then just drop. Okay, so I'm going to go back into layers and pick that layer that has the pretty on the left, slide and duplicate, and bring that over to the right. I'm going to flip it, place it up against the edge, and then go back, reposition things to make everything fit again. I'm going to go back to the layer where that little one is and just reposition that one into the middle. I'm going to go back to the other layer at the bottom and reposition it a little bit just to make sure everything's lined up. I'm going to go back up to a new layer and 
pick a new brush. I think I want a monthly grid. Jenny has little stamp brushes for those, so I'm going to pick a brush, pick a darker color. I'm going to guess at the size a little bit and tap the screen. And it's a little hard to see, so I'm going to open my layers and turn off some of those pretties just to see what I'm doing. I'm going to tap again, use my arrow tool, and place it properly. Now I'm going to go to my color wheel and pick a, the same green that I picked earlier so it'll match. I'm going to go back to my brushes and pick a pretty writing brush. And we're just going to write in August and the days of the month. And we'll just speed through this. Okay, so now we're going to bring back the pretties. Let's go back to the layers and turn everything back on. I'm going to make sure I'm on the right layer, find my eraser tool, and lower the opacity and just erase a little bit here and there so that I can see that calendar behind it. It's really not dark enough, so I'm going to color match one of those flowers. I think it's black, but I'm not sure, so we'll color match it. I'm going to select that layer and fill, and that changed the letters on that whole row to the other color. And then I'm going to go to my layers, deselect the background layer and the journal, wrench tool, PNG, save image. That will save it into my camera roll. I'm going to open GoodNotes and click August and just scroll through my weekly pages that I've added. Long press photos, pick up that last image, crop the edges off so it fits a little better. You need to have a space around the sticker to drop it in GoodNotes. I'm going to size it. You see it fits perfectly inside my journal because I worked it that way in Procreate. I'm going to click off the image and set it into place. And that is it. See you next week. Thanks for watching.